So first of all, congrats on such brilliant performances. It was a very emotional and moving film in your roles as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, first of all, I have to start with, are you guys now hockey pros? <laughs> no, we're, we're good at casting people to play us as hockey pros. Did you train at all for the film? Yeah, so like I spent like a couple months like just preparing before, um, even before I like got the part, I was like just practicing, anticipating the the best and worst, having to, to be a hockey player on screen. How did you work on your performance on bettering it from the auditions until the actual filming? Uh, well, when I did my first audition, I obviously tried to give it my best and then I immediately, as soon as I was done, I, I took what feedback I was getting or not getting from um, the people seeing it to try and better it by just thinking more about the process and you know reading going back to the rehearsals um, just trying to get deeper and deeper into the character a lot of the time that I was kinda of looking at this I was looking at it from the perspective of people that I know that have gone through the schools uh, members of my family as well as uh, extended members of the community and so I just kind of um, tried to pick up what I could from from their experiences what what they would share what I observed growing up to kinda of just keep uh, keep developing the characters as long as as long as possible. And also another thing is about this film is that I heard Richard as well as the team wanted to make sure we had newcomers and give other actors as well a chance. How important was that for you guys to be involved as well? Um, it was, I, I've, I've been acting for a little bit but nothing of this caliber and quality um, or this big of a project and so it was really exciting for me to be a part of it especially because I, I grew up in northern Ontario and a lot of the story takes place in northern Ontario. So it was, it was exciting to, to bring something like this to life that is very authentic and to have people like Slayton, who this is his first film and stuff, um, who, who still have that, that raw energy that, that haven't been bogged down by um, anything else. This is just who they are. Uh, to bring that to, to the set was incredible. And this, this film does talk about Canada's dark history, so what are you hoping audiences will take away from it, the message? I think just starting like a conversation is ultimately something that I think is really powerful. And the fact that we're able to tell this story through, or like tell this history through a story, I think is one of the most powerful ways to convey to somebody and have that as a conduit to have people understand like what happened. and. Um, Ultimately, I think just getting people to really just have a conversation and be like, what does it mean that this happened? And what can we do um, in the future to prevent something like this um, from happening again? Yeah. And I think that, uh, you know, a lot of films, uh, they can be very educational in a lot of ways. And this one can be very directly educational to a lot of people, not just in Canada, but around the world that, that don't really know this part of Canadian history and part of world history. This isn't yeah. something that's just exclusive to Canada. Um, so being able to bring that to light in a project like this that is very truthful to the real story I think is very exciting and important to, to help educate the world about this situation. I absolutely agree. What's next for you guys? Let's see, I'm um, <laughs> currently I'm editing a feature doc right now and um, have like a few films I just like wrapped last week so just been like on the grind of directing and acting, yeah. yeah. And I've, you know, a lot of the same, I've been shooting some short films uh, with a director named Lyle Mitchell Corbine out of Minnesota, another uh, native director. I uh, shot a feature called uh, Indian Road Trip in May, so hopefully that'll come out soon. I'm noticing a lot of my projects have Indian in the title <laughs> these days, uh, but also doing a lot of writing. All right. Thank you both so much for chatting with us and wishing you all the best. Thank you so much. <laughs>